We always like to go where the action is. It was just an easy decision to say, you know, let's go there and be a part of a country that's made Bitcoin legal tender as part of the overall Bitcoin adventure that we've been on all these years. So it was uh, took five minutes to really to make that decision. And here we are. Max Kaiser and Stacy Herbert are two of El Salvador's newest residents. I moved here because of President Bukele. It's like, say, Mick Jagger, Medici, Alexander the Great, and the Beatles decided to form a country and they say, hey, you want to come join? I'd be like, yeah, dude, let's do it. The couple has been in Bitcoin for 11 years. And when the Latin American nation made Bitcoin legal tender in 2021, Max and Stacy decided there was no other place they wanted to call home. Look at it. This is where the revolution is. Tick tock, next block. They've been spending much of their time in El Zonte and Bitcoin Beach, where Bitcoin has helped build a more efficient circular economy of local merchants. Max and Stacy hold events here, like this one, celebrating the adoption of Bitcoin and building a sense of community. How do you like the revolution so far? They've also been building relationships with El Salvador's officials, from Ambassador Milena Mayorga to President Nayib Bukele himself. While Bukele has been criticized by international media outlets for his decision to purchase Bitcoin for El Salvador, branded by some journalists and detractors a dictator, Max and Stacy have a different view. What sort of dictator in history has ever advanced economic liberty on an individual sovereign level? The waves, the jungle, the volcanoes, there's so much energy. And when you're tweeting from the heart, yeah. The, the population senses that lava flow of love. One of the things Max and Stacy say they find most inspiring about El Salvador's Bitcoin adoption is the hope it has brought young people in the nation. Stacy and I spoke with a group of young women at Hope House in El Zante about the opportunities Bitcoin could bring to their nation. Opportunities that could create a sense of an El Salvador dream. The number one dream of the smartest and best and brightest in El Salvador is to go to America. And that is the greatest tragedy of the past few decades here. That is neoliberalism. That is economic hitmen. Max and Stacy have never shied away from sharing their views on big government, big banks, and what they refer to as the fiat Ponzi scheme. The classic Ponzi scheme is you're paying off the new investors with rolling over all this bad debt. So you're just creating this enormous multi-hundred trillion dollar Ponzi scheme where the base has to continuously get bigger and bigger and bigger. And since you have no constraints on printing all that money, it's ultimately going to collapse the currency. The pair believe strongly that the collapse of the U.S. dollar is imminent, pointing to the monetary crisis created when elites print money that creates bubbles in equities and real estate and crushes the savers and working classes. For civil order, they need to keep people's house prices and their stock portfolio to continue to climb relentlessly in order for them to be docile, essentially to accept that there are no jobs, that we all just get to sit home and have UBI and stimulus checks and that this is normal. The political propaganda out there is that if you want the capitalistic system, you're greedy and you're the bad guy. And we sort of flipped everything on its head. And now the parties that are coming to power are the ones that want to hand out more easy money, want to give people free checks because that's seen as more kind. A free market system based on competition ends up resulting in an outcome of greater prosperity for the most in, in the population. Max and Stacy predict that prosperity will pour into El Salvador as the result of its early Bitcoin adoption, and they've made it their mission to support the country's transformation. We have been talking about Bitcoin as a Renaissance 2.0, and that if El Salvador really hyper-Bitcoinizes, that it would attract the smartest, best, brightest people here, and it has. So why do Max and Stacy care to be a part of El Salvador's story? Well, the key word there is story. I worked in Hollywood and I worked on scripts, worked on story development. And the only book they give you to, to know all about story is Aristotle's Poetics. In the money world, all you have to read is Aristotle on the five qualities of good money. So together, <laughs> I met Aristotle all these years later. And it's a story. Economics is a story. Here in El Salvador is a story. The story is not over because the bad guy has to 
freaking lose, like bad. So that's why we're seeing what we're seeing now.